All right, Don, I'm gonna give you an overview of the car here. Hopefully you can see everything. Uh, it's not perfectly clean, um, and I'm sure we could polish it up if we need to. I just wanna make sure that we're on the right track here. I did go over all the wheels and look at them. I didn't see anything. Uh, I'm gonna show you right off here. A couple little things I found. Uh, there is a scratch right here. Uh, it's the only thing I really found. And I'm gonna go over this pretty well. The license plate bracket, that's easy enough. I can replace that. Somebody did uh, break that. Um, this is just dirt on here. It's just all dirt. I'll try to look at for scratches here. I don't see any uh, stone chips. If they are, they are very, very minor. And these are just fantastic cars. It's uh, one of, if not the favorite car that I have. But here's the wheels. I went around all of them and looked to see if they'd been curved or anything. I don't see anything like that on any of them. And remember, they got to be polished up. So, but I wanted to show you just like it is. I, uh, I don't know if I mentioned this to you, but I actually drive an hour each way to come here, and I, I do that because. We do things the right way, we're fair, and, and we have our stuff priced really good. I don't know if you've looked around, but we have a computer program, um, and its goal is to look at every single car that's out there, what they're listed for, and what they actually sell for, and our goal is to be the cheapest uh, with that equipment in miles. Here is a little scratch and actually just a small little dent right there hopefully you can see that sometimes things don't always show up but I didn't see that on my first go around but I want to show you everything uh, small little scratch there it's dirt Slight, 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 and I'm only because I'm right up on it, I could see it at all. Now, I don't know if you're familiar or not, but this does have a smart key. Here again, there's just a little bit of little dirt on there. Of course, we'll wash it, polish it all for you. There's the third wheel. No signs of curving at all. It's good because that's uh, it's pretty bad for a nice car. Sometimes it does happen. Just trying to give you at least the lower half here. And I want to go around and show you all these wheels and then I can go over a little more. Anyhow, so I drive here an hour each way. I live in Kent. I've sold cars for about 14 years and the last place I worked for I was there for eight years um, and when they decided they were gonna and here's what it originally was anyhow when the place that I used to work for decided they were not gonna treat people the way I thought was right I left so it was hard to do after eight years and the place I worked at I could actually walk to work in about five minutes so just going back over a little higher up here so you could see everything So anyhow, a two hour drive to me is worth it when you have cars that are priced right and uh, a company that uh, actually believes in still taking care of the customer. So, all right, all that looks good. The roof looks really good. Anyhow, I think I started talking about the smart key. Uh, this is the smart key. Um, it does have remote start on it. And then to open the door, right now the car door is locked. All you have to do is push that button there and it unlocks the door. See, when I push that, it locks it. Or it unlocks it. You can see that little lock in there. Um, so you don't have to take the, the key out of your pocket. So it can stay in your pocket or a woman could keep it in her purse. Nice, it does have perforated leather seats that are cooled also. 
Uh, I mean, this thing is very laid out. Here is your preset seating positions. And you can actually change some programming. So if you want the seats to pull back automatically when you shut the car off, it'll do that. I'm gonna fire it up here to start it. You know, this key just has to be on your persons. Here's the key. And then you simply put your foot on the brake and press and release that. That's it, it's, it's running. Get the exact miles on it too. Here's the current miles on it 16, 456. Looks like we got a tire that's a little low. So it does have a tire pressure monitoring there. Now you can customize each of these screens and I'll go over it with you more, but I at least wanted to give you an idea of. I think it's in a fantastic condition. Um, these are your uh, phone controls so you can answer and in, uh, place calls right here heated steering wheel. Um, this is your collision Hi. alert. Um, each time you push that, you adjust how far you want to be away from the car before it alerts you. Over here, these are your radio controls, volume. Um, you can also customize the center console there. Um, there is the navigation screen is up right now. Here is the lane departure warning. Um, so it'll tell you if you're going out of your lane, four way flashers, shut off the traction control. Glove box of power, that's what that is right there. It does have, there's your CD player. Parking sensors. Um, this has alert seats, so when you get close to something, it actually vibrates. So let's say you're backing up, you're gonna hit something in the back right of the car. The back right of your seat will vibrate, or the front and middle, or whatever, front and back. Um, this also opens up. If you hold up on this for a few seconds, you have a storage place. There's a USB outlet in there that's lit up. This comes out so you can clean it. All you have to do is simply touch the silver strip again. It closes. Here are your cooled seats. So if you simply touch this, it starts off on high. Um, it blows air up through those holes in the seat, and it does make a big difference. And then your 